Got it. Got Hello, it. Hello, and welcome to Drag Activity Time. I am your host, Marty McGuy, and my forever co host, no matter where he goes, <laughs> is going to be Sister CJ Foxer right here. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Well, top of the show, first, I want to say congrats. We'll get into celebrations, but I'm also really happy for you. CJ, you got a brand new, you relocated. Where are you going and why are you leaving us? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'll be going to Monterey, California sometime end of April, early May. Um, it's going to be at the Defense Language Institute over there at the Presidio of Monterey. And I'll be, be, I'll be a drill sergeant for the new soldiers incoming for language school. That is so exciting. Are I'm you, really are, excited. You think you're going to be there long term, or you never really know with the military. Never really know with the military, but any type of drill sergeant stint is usually about three years. So, hmm. well, you'll still be on with us live. It'll just be a little bit. Oh earlier yeah, one hundred percent. Be a little bit earlier for you. Okay. With that being said, let's start the show. Woo! Woo! Uh, momentarily. You can do it. I believe in you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Hey, there's a the banana band. There they are. Look forward to them every week. Drag's a time to learn and play. Help create a brighter day. Drag's a place to sing a song. With new friends there to sing along. And drag is an adventure. Magic word for dancing, reading, arts, and games. D R A G. Thousand fun activity. D R A G. Well, I can be the best of me. So no matter who you are or what you like to do, there's a place for you right here. Cause the star of drag is you. It's drag. Science straight up innovating. Come on, everybody, let's rock and roll. Cause Harriet Hancock got some soul. It's drag activity time. I know. Allie just said it'll be in her head for the rest of the week. It really is. And if you want your own theme song, because it's pretty cool, Chris, the holidays are coming up. I'm one of those people. I love Halloween, but I'm really excited for Christmas. Uh, you can purchase your own theme song for a loved one or for yourself, for your organization, for your classroom. Um, and it's at a very low cost and you're supporting local musicians that get back to kids. So uh, if you want your own theme song for your organization, again, yourself, uh, whatever, um, they can do it for you. And how good is that? It's so good. It's so good. Uh, so I meant to do this last couple of weeks and I've forgotten. That is on me. Um, but since we're starting story time, let's start our tradition of turning on our story time flower. So um, let's say Bloom. And CJ, you weren't here last week, but we started a new thing, our vocabulary wall, where we learn new words. And we heard, we heard such great words in the new books that we're reading. So we've got a little vocabulary wall, which we'll review. But I think Bloom's a good word to put in there, which means to grow and to blossom. And uh, as we're going into fall. Yeah, I <laughs> love it. Blooming, I think it's great. But a flower <laughs> blooms. So on the count of three, we'll say one, two, three, bloom, and we'll turn the flower on. One, two, three, bloom. Bloom. All right, and story <laughs> time is ready to begin. And when it's over, we'll turn it off. See if I can keep it in the frame. Mm, well, I'll just hold it up. <laughs> um, nope, Ben and Anna, we've already had you. Uh, welcome, it's September 26. We are now in fall. Woo, CJ, are you a big fan of this weather and this time of year? Oh my God, so much. I love the cold. I love the changing of the leaves. Winter is my favorite season, but anytime it's cooler than summer or spring, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I got my my fall sweater on today. Fall sweater on. Uh, have you done anything folly? Any any uh, got decorations out yet? Not yet, and that's a shame on me because Halloween is my favorite, like favorite holiday. So I need to get oh, working yeah. on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Busy time for us drag performers, it really is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got some people. Oh, we have uh, Christopher here was here last week. Miss Stephanie Granato-Smith, familiar name there. Hello. Oh, gee, I wonder who. <laughs> <laughs> it is a catchy song. Hi, uh, Renee. 
So happy you're here. Hi, Ryan. Ryan, I'm so happy with before the show. Got me this new Squishmallow. <gasps> oh my God, that thing's so big. Oh my God, all my favorite Squishmallows <laughs> are huge. So uh, my mom wanted to say also, Stephen and Addie couldn't be here today, but they wanted to say hello and they'll be watching tonight. So hey, Stephen and Addie from the future. Uh, so our lineup today, we have a video message from Renee who's in the chat. So be sure to let her know how much you like it. Uh, her lovely mother, Monica, we have CJ. Then we have uh, Soban who should be here live. Um, if not, we'll see if we can catch her next week. Hopefully she'll be here soon. Um, so if you're new, this is your first time uh, ever clicking on this page, you've just stumbled upon it or you're watching the replay later. Um, this is the Harriet Hancock Center Facebook page and it is for the center here in Columbia, South Carolina. It's one of the state's only LGBTQ plus resource centers in the state, um, which is quite an accomplishment. It was uh, founded by Miss Harriet Hancock herself who had a birthday this week. Um, uh, she noticed a, um, a real need in the community when her son was gay um, in the 80s growing up in the South. So she's a lawyer who practiced for many, many years. And then one of her projects was to found this community center, which has resources, counseling, uh, groups um, for the young and the old, um, not to me, but like for Harry Hancock being for young children and for the old. Um, it's a place for everybody. It's a place for community and hopefully we'll be back live in person soon. We've got some stuff going on online right now. We do have some uh, a new group recently started Midlands uh, family support group. Uh, that's great. Hopefully when we get some more members in that, I'll be doing some training, uh, some parenting classes and that that'll be fun. Um, and we're going to be hopefully opening up soon. Um, a couple of uh, events coming up. Uh, we will be doing me and CJ. Well, will you be able to? What, will you be here, CJ? We haven't spoken about that. Will you be here? Uh, what that? What weekend is that again? You have to remind me. It's October twenty third. Uh, I need to check because I think actually something might have changed. So I need to talk with you offline about that. <laughs> Not to like put you on the spot, but I was like, you're oh, wait, good. You're moving. Uh, you're moving. Well, we do have some performers that have been coming in doing a wonderful uh, Pride event uh, for Pride, and it's going to be um located uh, on washington street main street assembly and so it's going to be partnered with the library so it's going to be a mix of song and story i will be playing zazu in someone's lion king number which i'm very excited uh. about <laughs> i'm very excited about uh there's going to be magic fun and it will be very safe uh there are going to be three shows for that reason limited spaces blankets separated out uh, all performers will have masks on um so it should be really really fun uh, we always like to do our uh, breathing techniques to kind of calm ourselves down. <sighs> Life is stressful, weeks are stressful. Uh, before we kind of settle into listening to some stories to kind of calm our silliness, we're going to do some breathing. Uh, so how we just so and for anyone new, how we do our breathing is we breathe in through our nose like you're smelling a flower and blow out of your mouth like you're blowing out a birthday cake. And we're going to do the self five. So. You're going to breathe in through your nose and you're going to let your arms go up. Oh, let's see, let's get my hands go up like this. And then once you're up here, you're going to let go and breathe out through your mouth. Let's do it three times. And one more time. Ooh, I always feel better after that one. That's, that's one of my favorites. Um, if anybody has any wish wells, you can put them in the chat. Um, uh, anything going through anything right now? Um, while moving is exciting, we're going to wish you well, CJs. That's a big process. <laughs> and Robert, a big process going literally across the country um, and starting a whole new job. So we're going to put you in our hearts. Um, wish you well for that. Um, uh, there, there's some, there was some uh, very scary, sad events that happened this week uh, at a Kroger Center, which I think some of us know. Uh, and we're going to pray for those families, how scary that was. Um, we're going to put them in our hearts. Um, and all the sadness and hatred that's going on in the world that we're in our little happiness love bubble right now, but we're going to put you in our heart. Um, Ooh, I have one. Oh, hit it. Yeah, so I want to, I wish well to um, Coco Dove, Lucy Dreams, Ooh. and uh, Trash yes. Barbie 420 because they just got in a car accident yesterday and thankfully they're okay. Their yeah. car is not, but thankfully they're okay and just wish them well right now. Absolutely. 
So how we do well wishes, again, we're going to take a deep breath. You're going to put your hand on your heart. And I like to imagine like that little water horse from Frozen 2, like going to each of these people and just kind of being with them. Uh, you can do whatever you want, um, however you want to visualize. Um, so we're going to close our eyes. We're going to think about those people. We're going to breathe in, breathe out, and say we wish you well. We wish you well. Um, we've got a couple more GoFundMe. I put these up last week, but it's really important that you keep donating and most importantly, keep sharing. Uh, this is a local lovely woman here, part of the community, um, and she has gotten hit with some very um, serious medical bills due to her cancer. Um, it's really sad in this country that we have to do this because of a Go, but like we have to resort to that. That's just how bad we are with healthcare here in the States. But um, she's a mother of three and she's a lovely, lovely person. So um, I'm going to share her um, GoFundMe in the chat and those are the videos. Um, and then, of course, we want to wish CJ's cat well. Athens, who's doing better. Uh, can you give us mm -hmm. a little? I, I asked you before the show, but you give them a little bit update on on cat and how they're doing. So he's doing a lot better, thankfully. It was scary that first weekend just because he wasn't eating, he wasn't moving a lot. You know, he was very lethargic. Mm -hmm. um, but after the last few days, thankfully, like seeing if you seen a vet, seeing the dentist as well, he's eating like normal again. He's still kind of a little bit unstable on his feet and like can't really move around too, too much. But he's loving again. He's doing his little chuff purrs again. And he's mm -hmm. definitely eating and drinking water. So <laughs> <laughs> that's gay. That's good. So we we're have a we're glad. We have a GoFundMe also, which I'll share in the chat. Um, we all know. Uh, it's expensive to take care of our, our fur babies and they are very important. To look at those eyes. <laughs> I mean, really. I know. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> He's literally doing the eyes from Shrek 2, the Puss in Boots, <laughs> the Puss in Boots eyes. Um, so celebration. So yes, we're very sad that CJ is moving out, but it sounds like a wonderful opportunity. Um, we're very proud of his work in the military. So Woohoo! A round, of, of, a round <laughs> of applause. A round of applause. That old dad joke here. Uh, yes, absolutely, Robert. I love Robert. Um, you guys have any uh, fundraisers coming up? I know you guys are always. Uh, we do to... actually. Um, oh, so our let's our next fundraiser. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, our next biggest fundraiser is going to be um, in November. Well, I have something in October. It's going to be another run walkathon um, type deal where I'm doing mm -hmm. uh, miles for donations. I'm also planning a sock drive as well coming up soon. I'm going to do that again. Um, but the big one is going to be in November for uh, Not on Olympus, the charity that Robert started. Yes. Um, we are, are doing our big fundraiser on Veterans Day weekend uh, to benefit the Power to Endure Foundation here in Georgia. That is so important. And especially when you said the sock drive, too. I remember we had someone on similar to and maybe we could do something in collaboration with her um how important um bras are to homeless yeah you were workers. telling me about her yeah they really don't have a lot of bras and that she has i support the girls um for like it can also all sizes for teens that come in their children like they need bras um and you know how important that is and socks are so important especially in the yes um, we kind of forget those we have you know here was our coats but we you know uh, so listen to those that are actively like you and CJ are, um, that you and uh, Robert are so active in the community and helping those people. Um, awesome. Uh, and uh, Renee is celebrating the celebration of her first bus cut on Tuesday. Yes, so I'm so excited for her. That's your life all its alternating day. Absolutely. We're going to get to see Congrats. Her. Yeah, we're going to get to see her read in a moment. So that'll be really exciting. Um, yeah, I think that is all of our mm -hmm. announcements. Um, and I think I had her reading first. Let me check the schedule. Oh, let me, let me check our vocabulary word or wall real quick. Did it show? Is it? Hold on. I can see it on my end. Um, I can see it. <laughs> okay. So re reaction. And then okay, okay, yay. Okay. So this is what <laughs> we did last week. So um in the comments, if you see any words, you, you hear any words, if I hear any words from the books that we're listening to that you think we should add to our vocabulary wall, uh, we will. So the ones that we um added last time were reaction. A chemical reaction is a process that leads to chemical transformation. Uh, we should probably I'm going to change that because it's technically a chemical reaction that does that because uh, a reaction could be anything that reacts to something else. Uh, molecular gastronomy is a scientific approach to nutrition from the perspective of physics and chemistry, ingredients, components of something. So we had all sorts of fun. Oh, we didn't, we forgot to define the heat rod. So I'll have to go and define it later. Uh, we learned, but what was the word collage, boil, ingredients, 
molecular Those are all gastronomy. Good I know. So if you hear any words that come up um, during the show, put them in the chat and I'll add them to our vocabulary word wall. I think that'll be fun to see how many words we get into a year. Um, so working on that literacy. Um, all right. So I'm going to let Ali Renee take over. And she has got a wonderful book to share with us. Let me see if it's changing on y'all's end. I think it is. Yes. Okay. Let me turn the sound on. And I am going to mute myself. We yeah, actually do that too. <laughs> right. See y'all on the other side. Hi, everyone. I'm Renee. I'm so happy to join you today. My pronouns are she, her. And you can see that today I have my non binary flag and my transgender flag. The, the, one of the characters in the book that I'm about to read is transgender. And I loved it because some of the stuff that she goes through, I have been through as a non-binary person. And it also talks about the brothers that support her. And I am, I support my brother who's gay and my siblings support me since they found out that I'm non-binary. So this, this book is perfect for our family. It is called Sam is My Sister. And it is written by Ashley Rose Quarter and illustrated by Mackenzie Haley. You see the um, book uh, end pages. That's what they're called. Hearts, moon, planet, stars. Evan, Sam, and Finn did everything together. All summer they played with trains, climbed trees, and fished in the river behind Grandpa's house. They even went to outer space. Evan thought Sam and Finn were the perfect co-pilots. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Zoom, zoom, brothers to the moon, Evan shared. If you have a chance to get this book at the library or something, I recommend taking a time, uh, stopping to look at the pictures. They're all delightful. And my, my computer doesn't show the camera or the pictures that well. At the library, they lugged books about space to the checkout desk. Wait, Sam shouted before running back to the shelves. Sam returned with a glittery book that had a long haired princess on the cover. Why do you want a girl book instead of a space book? Evan asked. Books are for everyone to enjoy, Mom said. And girls can go to space too, Sam chimed in. Did you know donuts float in space? Finn asked. They all laughed. But Evan still wondered why Sam wanted that book. This is my favorite part. Because look, I went through the haircut thing. Spoiler alert. It was time to get haircuts for school. Evan and Finn got theirs cut shorter like Dad's. Then it was Sam's turn. You're going to look so handsome, Dad said. I don't want to look handsome, Sam cried. I want to be beautiful with long hair down to my toes. Mom and Dad looked at each other and Mom shrugged. Just a trim for Dad. Ugh. Just a trim for Sam. Dad told the barber. <laughs> I love that one. Why doesn't Sam want to look like us anymore? Evan whispered to Dad. Well, buddy, it's Sam's hair, Dad said. A new hairstyle isn't hurting anyone. Evan didn't understand, but he saw the huge smile on Sam's face. 
when I had my, uh, bu my hair buzzed like this, I had a huge smile on my face too. And my mom still remembers it. It made her very, very happy to see. She was like the parents in this book. She supported me. On the first day of school, Evan put on his new clothes and showed mom, but Sam wasn't ready. I don't like shorts. I want to wear a dress. Dresses are for girls, Evan said. Why do you want to dress all wrong? I want to wear what I like, Sam said. Mom seemed to be thinking. She left the room a moment and came back with a white hair bow. How about this for now? Mom clipped the bow in Sam's hair. Sam beamed. It's perfect. That's a good mama. At school, some of the older kids pointed and laughed at Sam. One tried to grab Sam's bow. Why are you wearing that? he asked. Because I like it, Sam said. Boys don't put stuff in their hair, another boy said. Well, I do, Sam shouted and marched off. Evan glared at the boys before running after Sam. I like that you can see his mad face. They're treating his, his sister um, badly. It's going to say later in the book that, that Sam is actually their sister, like it says in the title. Do you want to play spaceship, Evan asked. Paging Commander Sam. But Sam stayed quiet. Evan tried again. Zoom, zoom, brothers too. I don't feel like playing, Sam said softly. The morning bell rang. Line up, a teacher called. Girls in one line, boys in another. Miss Carson, where do I go? Sam asked. Evan wondered why Sam didn't get in line next to him and the other boys. Miss Carson looked over at Sam. How about you just walk next to me? Mom and Dad started letting Sam wear dresses after school and on the weekends. Sam couldn't wait to change into skirts with bright tights and put on pretty shoes. Evan had never seen Sam so happy. This shirt that I'm wearing is my brother's shirt. And when I put it on yesterday um, for the first time, I felt very happy. I started dancing around and taking funny pictures and, you know, it just, it elevated my mood. So... That's part of the reason that I love this book so much. I've, I've been through some of this, even though I'm not transgender, I'm non-binary. Why do you want to look like a girl? Evan asked one day. Because I am a girl, Sam said, on the inside. Sam drew a heart with a sparkly crayon. I don't get it. Evan replied. He picked up a crayon and drew a moon next to Sam's heart. So how do you know which hand so how do you know which hand to use when you color? Sam asked. Evan stopped drawing for a moment. I don't know. Drawing with my other hand doesn't feel right. Well, being a boy doesn't feel right to me, Sam explained. It's just who I am. Evan tried to draw a star with his other hand and got frustrated. This is weird. I'm glad no one makes me do this all the time, Evan said. See, he's starting to get it now. He seems a little grumpy in the beginning, but he's just confused. But now he's starting to figure things out. And he's starting to take better care of Sam. Sam has been talking to us about something important, Mom said that night. And Dad and I have met with some doctors and experts. We learned that for some people, the way they think and feel inside 
doesn't match what they look like on the outside. Even though Sam was called a boy at birth, Sam identifies as a girl. The word for that is transgender. And this is the flag for that. Yes, that's me, said Sam. I want to be myself all the time. Dad smiled at Sam. You are in charge of who you are and how you feel. And we are in charge of making sure you kids are happy and healthy, Mom added. Well, I want to be in charge of dessert tonight, Finn said. Finn and his food come. If you're a girl, can we still go fishing? Finn asked. Of course we can, Sam said. Girls like to fish too, you know, Evan told Finn. Yay, Evan, he's learning. What about playing spaceships, planes, and trains? Finn wondered. Sam laughed. We can play anything, and with any toys. We gotta tell Mom we're gonna need a bigger toy box. I love that response. At school, things weren't as easy. Sam, you can't play with us because you're not a boy anymore, one boy said. No, that's just a boy in a dress, said a girl. Evan, <clears throat> Evan got angry. Hey, don't talk like that to my sister. He stood next to Sam until the mean kids walked away. I love that. I love the change that you can see in Evan, who now understands why his sister was like she was. Uh, look at her smile. That's what supportive siblings do. You called me your sister, Sam said with a grin. Well, you are, Evan nodded. That's how I feel when my, my, brother and, my brothers and sister say something similar to me. Like I look like a boy or whatever. I like that kind of thing. Evan knew that Sam was still the same Sam. That night at bedtime, Evan, Sam, and Finn watched as the, as the moon rose and the stars sparkled through the clouds. What about going to the moon? Finn whispered. Will you still come with us? Evan asked. Princesses can still go to the moon, Sam whispered back. Yes, they can, Evan said. Zoom, zoom, family to the moon. In the back, which I won't read, but um, in the back there's a there's a bit of a bit more about being transgender and what it's like for the parents and resources, so that people can look them up and learn more if they want to learn more about the topic. So I hope you all enjoyed the book as much as I did. As you can see, I couldn't help but smile when I read it because it is similar to my own story, especially the part at the hair at the barber shop. I got my hair cut almost a year ago, and it makes me so happy, super happy still. So we are going to be celebrating on September 28th when I got my first, the anniversary when I got my first haircut. So um, yes, I hope you all have a, a joyful rest of your Sunday and have a lovely week. And I look forward to reading again for the activity time. Bye. Woohoo! Happy almost hair anniversary. That's really exciting. That gender euphoria I know it's gonna be you finally get to do something you want to do for a while. So we're happy for you and lovely reading as always. Uh so I think you're I think you're still here it's in the chat. So wonderful, wonderful job. Um, Good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, CJ, uh, I wish, I, let me go back and look at the lineup. It's always good to keep a, a list. Okay. <laughs> so let me cross it off. We've done, where's the cross off button? I'll just highlight it, move along. Okay, we did Renee. So next is Monica and then jump in the gun. 
So if you <laughs> like that lovely person, you'll love this lovely person too. And that would be Miss Monica. That would be Miss uh, Renee's mom that we just saw. And this is uh, one that she was really excited for you to see because uh, you liked one of the books you, she had done. Uh, me and Renee were talking about it. So oh. I'm going to let Miss Monica take it. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all again. I'm here to read another story for you. But before I do, I want to tell you that I'm wearing my fancy earrings because I'm reading a story about royalty. So that's why I have my fancy earrings on. And I'm also wearing my ally cap. I have my rainbow flag and my rainbow shirt that says love conquers all. And this is a story about just that. I hope you guys like it. It's a sequel to the story I read before called The Prince and His Knight or The Prince and Knight. And, um, and I think you'll like this one a lot. I know I do. Anyways, I will start it now. The Tale of the Shadow King by Daniel Hack and pictures by Sweeney Lewis. I want to read the forward to you though because it's really sweet and has a very good message. But for some of you, there they are. Um, who are they? Hmm, better find out soon. Okay, this is the forward. The, the author, Daniel Hack, says, For my mom and dad, and for anyone who has risked something to live authentically. That's a beautiful message. And from Stevie Lewis, it says, To anyone who has ever felt different or out of place, you are beautiful and you are loved. And that's a very, very, very important message. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone should be loved. And I love you all. But here's my last story again, Tale of the Shadow King. Have you heard the thrilling tale of the prince and his dear knight? Their love for one another inspired everyone in sight. The sun shined on their union and it beamed as they were crowned. The whole realm felt its warmth from the treetops to the ground. Isn't that cute? They're getting crowned. Isn't that sweet? Yet while their kingdom prospered and grew under their care, a fog of darkness spread, sending chills throughout the air. It started with just a, a wisp that slowly veiled the sky, but when daylight did not return, the prince and night could not stand by. Mm -mm. And to do something. The shadow has destroyed our crops and we're starving from this blight. The prince said to his husband, we must face this threat tonight. See? They're very serious. This is a very serious problem. Journey deep into the darkness, said the kingdom's wise old sage. There you'll find the Shadow King. His soul is filled with rage. Some people say he's evil, so heed their words of advice. Be careful if you meet him, or you will surely pay a price. See, there he is. Looking a little scary. There we go. So the prince and knight set off, their warriors by their side, trudging through the wilderness with the flaming torches as their guide. They found the king's foul fortress past a wide and rushing river. Let's be careful as we cross, said the knight with quite a shiver. They jumped from rock to rock, but before they reached the shore, monsters thundered towards them. The troop was now at war. See, there they are. All the baddies surrounding. Oh, this story. It took all their strength to fight them until there was one last beast. It started wasting at the prince. It was looking for a feast. The knight blocked the villain's path and knocked it to the side, but the knight had lost his footing and he fell into the tide. Oh no, what will happen now? <laughs> Aww. The prince quickly dove right in to save the knight before the, he drowned. He swam with speed and pulled him out. His one true love was safe and sound. Isn't that sweet? It's safe too. It's so romantic. Aww. 
The knight kissed the prince and said, you put your own life on the line. As you did for me, said the prince, I know you'll always be mine. Ah, uh, one gift to people I know. The Yay. shadow king was watching. He fell down to his knees. I wish to end this darkness. Don't hurt me. I beg you, please. See, there he is begging right here. And there are the two guys. I used to be so happy, he said, as the tears streamed down his cheek. But soon the world turned against me for the way I dress and speak. Because I loved a squire, I was banished to the dark. As the sadness grew inside me, I felt these powers spark. That's sad. Every, people make fun of him because of the way he dressed and because of who he fell in love with. So he got angry, started doing things that weren't very nice. It's unfair how you were treated, the humble knight replied. Our difference makes us unique. Let's celebrate them with pride. I'm sorry you've been told these things should cause, should cause you worry and shame. Like the colors of the rainbow, I'm glad we're not all the same. I believed I wasn't worthy, the king said to the men. For when I see the love you share, I'm filled with hope again. It was the first time in so long the king had felt this warm. A light radiated around him. He felt himself transform. Would you like to come with us? The prince asked and took his hand. And with this loving touch, sunlight spread across the land. Ah, it's the squire. It's the squire he fell in love with. He was welcomed to their home and built his own family. How wonderful life is, he cried, when I can truly be me. Oh, see, there he is. And there's the squire. And that's the baby. The end. And see, they're holding hands. They're all together. Everybody's happy. It's a very happy story. I think everybody should read it and buy it and always tell people who feel a little different and they feel out of place tell them that they're that they're unique and beautiful and very very loved you're all beautiful and you're all loved bye how important is that to hear just that um you're important and you're loved i think we all need to hear that so we love uh organizations like free mom hugs that do that and we have great allies and great supporters. And to be a great ally, it's not just to show up at the prize and the festivals, it's to show up at the voting booths and to tell the people uh, that they're loved and they're supported. Uh, my church here in Columbia, South Carolina um, has a new program called Safe Space Dinner, uh, where it's a once a month thing where you can come get some supplies. Um, uh, it's mostly for children who maybe have gotten um, on the streets due to being who they are, so you can come get some supplies. It's no preaching. It's just you get a hot meal. You get to relax. You get supported, and just to hear that you're loved and supported, and that honestly means a lot to people. So thank you for uh, being a great ally. Um, okay, it's time that we look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to play some like runaway music. Okay. No, no. Bobby yes. Ray. <laughs> Um, okay, tell us about, wait, hold on, uh, runway, we need a little <laughs> live again, okay, let me share my music. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> All right, now do a slow turn, hold on. Oh, let's see, oh. so I gotta be like. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sensation <laughs> oh my god okay, tell us about this face um so it's actually funny i feel like monica and i had a moment together or something because she wore her ally cap had all the colors mm -hmm. had everything present and i decided to paint the ally flag um so for those that may not know there is an ally flag for the lgbtqia plus community um so what it represents is you have the 
pride colors in the center in the shape of an A for ally. And then you have black and white stripes around that to represent the either heterosexual or cisgendered individuals who support the LGBT community in fighting against, you know, gender discrimination, homophobia, biphobia, you know, help supporting the transgender community and whatever community falls under that LGBT umbrella. Um, and the other reason why I did, I, I added the colors up top is because for the progressive flag, you have the transgendered colors mm -hmm. and you have the people of color. Um, so that's why those colors are up top. And actually, um, I painted this flex particularly because I had a, so I'm part of the military and part of what they were doing that we're in part of a group that goes to Jamestown Elementary mm -hmm. and we read to kids. We sit in the group, we sit in classrooms with kids, like maybe the first hour or so help them out kind of, you know, little, big brothers, little big sisters type, type of deal. And I had one girl ask me because she knew, I, she knows I'm gay. And she asked me, she's like, is there a flag for people who aren't gay, but like the gay, gay people? And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, like my parents support my brother who's gay, mm -hmm. but they're, they're not gay. And I was like, you know, oh, that's a straight flag. Like that, that's what this looks like. And that's kind of part of the reason why I did it too. I was like, you know what, let me try painting this. Cause this would be fun. And oh. also let people, let people know that, Hey, you, even if you're not gay, but you support this community, there is a flag out there for you. You're so sparkly today, CJ. I love it. Oh, so it. sparkly. <laughs> I love it. You're like a Cullen, but <laughs> uh, if CJ was a part of the Cullens, this is what he would look like. Oh my God, oh, just, just one part of the face. <laughs> I was taking a picture the other day, we were somewhere and there was like someone spilled glitter on the floor and Ryan was like, well, <gasps> CJ's been here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just burst into a cloud of glitter. All dry, right. <laughs> dry by glittering. <laughs> Well, I'm going to pop off and let you take over. Ooh, cool. Right. Okay, so I was going to read yet another book from the lovely treasury of Curious George, but then you got me talking and thinking about fall and how my favorite holiday is coming up next month. So I decided I was going to bring out another one that I've read before, but I had so much fun doing, and it's called Room on the Broom. The host muted me. Thanks, Marty. Oh, I, I appreciate that. I went to unmute to go yay and realized that I muted you. Anyway, went, yeah. before I was so rudely interrupted. So, um, I was excited. I was trying to tell you how excited I was. Uh, you're good. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to read The Room on the Broom. It's also a little bit easier to read for me because I have a terrible time reading sometimes. So let's get this started. So, Room on the Broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, as they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from the braid, from, oh, excuse me, from her braid, just like that. Starting to sound like me, I lose everything. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied the br her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom? 
for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and down they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leaped a dripping wet frog and a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dread the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moons and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... Man, yeah, that's a lot of animals. I wonder what's going to happen. The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and a witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have a witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yell and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. It said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I I'm sorry, he sputtered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose, ooh, I don't know what it's gonna be. What do y'all think? A truly magnificent broom with, with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. Now you're muted. I know. <laughs> I love that story. And I. Uh... I'll see if my mom can comment. I think there's like a short uh, animated version of that on Aww. Amazon Prime, and it's so funny. 
story of everyone wanting to be included. Who's your I favorite know. animal represented? Uh, the cat. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love the cat's like, no, we're done. No more. Stop. Happening. No more people. <laughs> uh, before, let me um, let our last guest in. She just <gasps> came in. Yay. I'm excited. While, while she's coming in, um, I tagged uh, our president, Ms. Kemma, in the comments just to make sure I didn't forget any upcoming events. Um, so she mentioned Pride, which I already checked. Uh, but they do have a art workshop with the University of South Ooh. Carolina. So if you're interested in doing some arts, uh, you can sign up on our Facebook page. So, all right. So our last I wish winner. I was artistic. Oh, not at all. <laughs> you better be kidding. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could just knew how to lay down some paint. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Vaughn. How are you? Nice. Hey. Hair. I, saw, I think you got a haircut the last time. Seen I you. did. You like it? I love it. Yes. Thank absolutely. you. Um, well, you are our last reader today, so I am excited. I'm going to hand it over to you. Yay. Thank you. I am doing one of my favorite stories called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. This is a great book. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. See how short she is? You can't even see over the balcony. So she did look at her walking tall and proud, just like anybody else would who's tall, right? Now she's looking in the mirror. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her a smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. Sorry, I skipped the page. Hold on. See your buck teeth? Didn't stop from smiling, did it? Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. That means she didn't sing very good. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, believe in yourself and the world be will believe in you too. Look at her trying to carry all those dishes. So she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. and start in a brand new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her shrimp, shrimp bow in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Buckety Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked 10 high in her teeth and smiled as big as the day. All the children smiled with glee as Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, you sound like a sick duck, honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. 
On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong, but Molly Lou Mellon opened up the paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a special pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. So your grandma reading it? Everybody's got to stand up tall, just like Molly Lou Mellon, no matter what your size or what you look like, and don't let anybody get you down. That is very good advice, and also from a very great name. Well, I mean, it's a hard one to forget. Molly Lou, that sounds like a queen's name that I'm, <laughs> if not, jump on it. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that. We're so glad you could come with us and enjoy us that last final story. It was wonderful. Me too. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Be back again soon, I promise. Absolutely, please do. Well, I'm glad you <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you said that. Um, so I just posted um our most recent schedule for story time uh for October, November. So we are downgrade, not downgraded, just slowed down to two story times a month. So our next one is gonna be 10 17, uh October 17th. I don't know why I said it like that, October 17th and Halloween, October 31st. Um, November 13th and November 27th. Um, trying to get some new people on. So did I say something wrong? I thought I heard objections from down the hall. Uh, but we already have a new friend signed up um, that you're going to love. His name is Dandy. He is hilarious. I don't know if you've seen, have you seen Dandy yet? Not him, yes. Dandy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was explaining to my mom, but, but I was like, I said both their names. She's like, wait, are they the same person? I said, no, <laughs> it's different. Dandy is hilarious. You're gonna love them. Uh, lots of puppetry, um, lots of fun. Um, so I will be posting the sign up link. CJ always posts the sign up link for me. Um, so if you know someone that would like to volunteer, uh, please, 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 please uh, consider sending it to them. And of course, always consider um, uh, watching the show on repeat, watching it on YouTube. Uh, we love your support. It's, sharing is support. Sharing is caring. Very much so. Um, all right. So we will not see you next week, but we'll see you again. It'll be October. It'll be almost time for Halloween. Get your oh my Halloween God, I costumes know. together. What are we all wearing? Has anyone, everyone decided? Vaughn? CJ? I think I'm going to be the mistress of evil. Oh, nice. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> Very nice. CJ can help me with my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, are you going to have many different costumes as many drag performers do? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Although I kind of have an inkling I want to be a fox. I don't know why. CJ Fox Star. <laughs> that, should be your, that should be your logo. That should be I have logo. little ears. Oh, uh, well, speaking of logo, before we wrap up, I do want to thank uh, this lovely artist on Etsy. Um, I got as a birthday gift from, uh, my sister. Um, and I want to show you the logo that she came up with for the show. So if you've uh, seen it, um, look how cute it is. So if you're looking for some art, oh, you yes. can share her name on my page. That's um, adorable. Hands. I know. Look at my, my big feathery hat. Um, <laughs> so if you're looking for some custom art, um, I'll get you. I believe it's Samantha Henzi, um, on Etsy. So I, I'm saying a logo of like you as a little fox. Like the cartoon frogs from uh, Disney. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <you're> like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful week. Oh, let's turn off the um, lamp and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>